Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob on the Farm. Um, as you can see, we are not on the farm. In fact, let me come around over here and I will show you where we're at. We're actually, what I do for my actual job is um, booking gift fairs. And so let's just take a quick walk around. And you can see, this is all the stuff that I have out for sale today. Uh oh, we're going into a dark part. Just gotta, yep, light comes back on automatically there. So anyway, I have uh, all manner of kids stuff, books, gift items for grown-ups and kids alike. See, you got all kinds of books and fun stuff. So, oh, well, we even have some home goods and cookbooks and things for we have books for summer reading we have pillows to rest your weary head on A flashlight in case it gets dark all kinds of back scratcher if you're itchy you know all the good stuff so anyway i'm out here today to um i'm running a book fair today and uh um but uh, the other day, uh, Bill Stinson from uh, Stinson Farms um, <laughs> kind of signed me up for the What's in Your Pocket Challenge. Um, so uh, I guess I'm uh, going to show you what's in my pockets. So I've got a few pockets around the, around the room here, so we're going to make, we're gonna have to make a couple of uh, little stops here. So anyways, first of all... Let's go with what's in my jeans right now. And uh, let's see if I can, I don't know, know where to put ya. Let's see, how about we, why don't we go back to this. Let's see, yeah, yeah, you can see my desk there. All right, I will stand right here next to the desk. All right, so first of all, in my jeans, I got one, two, three, four pockets, and there's something in each pocket. So, okay, this first pocket, obviously, is the phone. So, it's a Samsung. It's one of the newer ones. I don't have any idea what model it is. I think an S21, maybe. I don't know. I like it. It's a good phone. And it works pretty great. Um, the other thing in that pocket is my knife. And what I use is one of these... Um, I don't know, get it from Home Depot. These folding knives, they have the lock back on them. You can see that, it just takes a, uh, takes a takes a razor blade to, you know, you can change it out actually. You know, this one needs a new blade, but, but anyway, put a new, put a razor blade in it and uh, you got a fresh, fresh knife. So anyway, that's the knife that I carry most of the time. Next thing, we gotta go to the back pockets. This one right here, the wallet. So we got that. And don't get too excited. There's not that much in the wallet. So anyway, and then in my other back pocket, today, I don't really don't have anything in this pocket, but today I have two doorstop wedges and that's because getting into this building I need to prop open a couple of doors and they don't have any way to prop them open here so I gotta bring my own anyhow so that's uh oh wait I got one more pocket other front pocket so in this pocket let's see get keys these are the keys uh, for the van I'm driving today plus several other keys that most of which I have no idea what they go to so one of these days I should go check them out see where they all go and a key for my truck because I needed to get something out of it this morning on my way here so we got that and uh, that's those pockets now I also wore a jacket in here this morning and so the jacket has some pockets and you can see 
Let's get you back up here. So anyway, it's just a it's a Carhartt jacket with uh, see nutrient eggs, uh, egg solutions. It's where I get my fertilizer and seed from most of it. So anyway, let's see if there's anything in these pockets here. Got this pocket. Yep, that's an empty one. Let's put this pocket. That's the other. Oh, there's something in here. Something in here. There are. I got business cards. Well, that's a. That's the card of somebody I need to call. Oh, and then here are some cards. I made some cards. Up, well, my wife made up some cards. Chris made up some cards. Uh, that I can pass out to advertise the YouTube channel. So there you go. Bob on the farm. So there's that. And uh, and then there's one more there's one more little pocket in here. There's a breast pocket inside the inside the uh, the thing here. Inside the jacket. And it's my glasses case. Well, the glasses were in there, but right now they're on my face. So they're just reading glasses and I only need them I only need them if I want to see. So there's that. So I'm going to call this uh part 1 of the what's in my pocket challenge. Uh because when I'm on the farm, I have a different set of stuff that I have in my pockets. So um when I get home and get changed into my farm duds, uh, we'll uh, get back to, we'll um, show you what I've got in those pockets. So, anywho, um, yeah, have a good time until then. Probably, probably only be a couple seconds by the way you see it. It'll be a couple hours before I get home. So, we'll see you later. Alright, so, finally I'm back home and I've uh, been out to the barn. And I'm in my barn clothes, and we're gonna do the second part of the what's in my pocket challenge. Um, I got several pockets on here, so I guess we'll start with the coat, and we'll work our way in. All right. I think there's something in this outside pocket right here. What is this? Oh, well, it's an old auction number. Not worth a whole heck of a lot here. Apparently, I am number seventy-one ten. Actually, that's a good number because I can use that at that auction anytime. Oh, and there's some hay chaff. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, a pencil. Carpenter's pencil. Right there. Okay, and then oh, a koozie. I was at an auction on Saturday, and they were giving out koozies, so doggone it, I took one. There you go. There's that. Keep my beer cold. <laughs> and, oh yeah, Bill, I got gloves too. <laughs> and, oh, what's this? Um, paper towel. A paper towel. So, apparently... I use paper towels as Kleenex because Kleenex doesn't hold up to how much snot comes out of me. So, <laughs> so I use paper towels. Bounty is good to me. <laughs> All right, those two pockets are empty. This pocket's empty. I wonder if there's anything in this pocket. I don't think so. I never use this pocket. Nope, nothing in there. All right, so, oh, I wonder if I have anything in here. I don't think I've ever even I don't think I've ever even noticed this pocket before. Anything in there? Hello? Nope, nothing at all, not even moths. And then there's the other inside pot. Nope, nothing in there either. Okay, coat's done. Alright, so from here on out it gets real boring. I do have a tape measure though. At least today I do. And uh, I was <laughs> I was gonna take this out and put it back in the shop, but guess what? <laughs> My vice grips came back in the house with me. 
And let's see, what else? Nope, that's about it, except for I have my phone. You and have I'm your actually, what? I'm actually not allowed to have a phone with me while I'm working on the farm because uh, a few years ago I was planting corn and I had the phone out of my pocket and I put it up on top of a fertilizer box and then I took off planting and pretty soon the phone fell off the planter and I lost my phone out in the middle of a 20 acre field. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and we, then, found, we found it, but you're not allowed to have your phone on the when you're on the tractor anymore, <laughs> are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> so anyway, after a horrendous rainfall <clears throat> and we got all wet looking for this phone, we finally found it. I think, would you use the GPS feature on it? And yes. You, you low-jacked my phone, basically. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. So anyway... That's what I got in my pocket, so anyhow, <laughs> it's a, a plethora of crap. <laughs> so, there you go. Hmm. Yep, no money, no wallet. Well, no you are keys, married. No key. Well, yeah, why would I have money? Right. And um, so, anyway, I want to thank Bill Stinson uh, again for uh, having me uh, do this challenge. And um, and uh, actually, uh, anybody who's watching this, if you have not gone to see Bill Stinson uh, on Stinson Farms on YouTube, uh, he has a pretty cool channel. He's out in Western Kentucky, and uh, seems to me like a pretty good guy. And he's actually he answers back every every comment that I make on his on his um, uh, site. So um, anyhow, he's getting real close to a thousand subscribers. And I know that um, he'd probably really, really like to be able to monetize his channel and get to a thousand subscribers. He's like in the mid 800s right now. Uh, so go to Stinson Farms on YouTube, um, subscribe to Bill's channel, and um, get him up to a thousand. Um, I know he'd like to make a little money at this because I've seen his tractors and stuff. He's got a serious John Deere addiction. Um, so. <laughs> Help the man out. He needs the help. <laughs> and I'm not telling him take I'm not trying to tell you to try to get him get him away from his tractor addiction. I'm trying to tell you help him so he can buy more. <laughs> feed that addiction. Got to feed it. Thanks folks. Have a good night. Okay, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to nominate a few people to uh, do the pocket challenge also. <laughs> Uh, so, um, from northeastern Minnesota, uh, Don and Dale Gench from Rolling Hills Farms, I challenge you to do the pocket challenge, such as it is. <laughs> um, a fellow uh, Mackinac Bridge tractor crossing crosser, B Duff 007. Um, I don't know your name, but, uh, I think you're from Michigan from judging from the, your picture on your, uh, YouTube channel. And, uh, another Michigander, um, Suzanne at, uh, WT Farm Girl videos. Um, I challenge you to do the what's in your pocket challenge. So that's, uh. Those are the ones that I have. So good luck, everybody. I hope everybody's uh, successful at finding their pockets. <laughs>